Well, Gary, uh, you're looking more confident every time you go out there. Are, are you feeling that way? Yes, sir. Um, I know I prepare well. I know I got some guys on the offense and the defense that got my back, so I'm always go out there confident. Like I'm just out there having fun. It's football, so I enjoy doing it. So I'm gonna go out there confident and do it at a high level. How much does it help as a quarterback to have you know, that two-headed monster at running back? To oh, honestly, it makes the game easy. <laughs> like you know, when they get rolling, they gonna give me a chance to throw the ball behind them. They'll give me a chance to get it out on the perimeter and throw the ball. So having them back there is like. Makes my, my game pretty easy because I know they're going to run the ball hard. And they kind of fire me up, to be honest. They have me ready to run the ball. Like, I get the ball. So seeing them run somebody over, I think I want to run somebody over now. So it's pretty exciting. Like, I like that. Coach tells you to hold back on that whole thing. When you yeah, it, you know, they tell you protect yourself sometimes. <laughs> so, But I'm like, it's football. I'm having fun. Those guys got me going. So I'm going to just go out there and do what I can. They, uh, you've, you've come out throwing, though, too, the last couple games. Uh, do you kind of like that confidence that the coach is having you to kind of get it going? From yes, sir, I love that confidence because I know they're going to, they will let me do every, everything. Um, I know it's not a pass that, they know it's not a pass that I can't make. So it's like they give me the opportunity to throw the ball everywhere and make all kind of throws. So, I mean, I appreciate them for that. And I hope they continue to up it and push me to uh, play at a high level. So I think it's all good. I enjoy it. What were the benefits of the open day for you? Could you repeat that? What were the benefits of the open day? What you mean? The bye week. Oh, the yeah. bye week. Yeah. Oh, um, I think it was really helpful for me. I mean, yeah, we were in the rhythm and rolling, but it gave us time to get our bodies together. Um, it gave us time to get a break and kind of um, relax and think about what we need to work on. Like, that's the thing I, I took most from it. Um, being able to meet with my coach and just watch the tape and figure out things that I could improve on, I think that was kind of the uh, take for everybody. Just try to find ways to improve over this bye week. Like, take, take it more personal to get better at things that you need to get better at, not just developing as an offense, but that was some time for us to personally develop. And how do you get back into that? Rhythm? Just coming out of practice. I don't think we just fell out of rhythm, but I think um, we weren't just in our routine. So I say just coming back and attacking it every day, just trying to get better. And I think we were really still in routine, to be honest, from my vibes today. I think we came out and attacked there. It was good energy. Everybody was excited to be back together. So I think we were just going to keep going up again. What do you see from Texas? Um, Texas, um, I see a really good team. I see a team that plays hard. They put up a lot of points and a lot of yards a game. I see a defense with a good D-line and some nice DBs and everything. I think um, they try to keep uh, a lot of passes from getting behind them. They try to make you take things that they're going to give you, take the short routes. And um, I see a defense that um, just, I don't know, they play hard. They play as a unit. I feel like a lot of guys on that team can play together for a while. And on their offense, they have a pretty good, a really good running back. So everybody know, um, I think, that good team. That good team. I think it's going to be a fun atmosphere. It's going to be a great game. You have to be patient, maybe, with a defense like that if they're going to give you the underneath. Yeah, you stuff, just take it. You definitely got to be patient. You just got to take what they give you, whether it's a short pass, a quick run, or QB run, or and when they do give you your shots, the deep balls, you want to, you do not want to miss them. You want to take them because you're not going to get them again. So you got to take those explosives when you can. Gary Grant Miller came in here in the spring. What kind of a addition has he been to your line? Grant has been great. Grant is, I don't know if you guys can tell, Grant is a very, very smart guy. Coming from Vanderbilt, he's very, very smart. So just coming in, him attacking and learning, like the game was slow for him. Like he caught on to it and got it down packed. And it's just with him being an older guy coming in, adding that addition to the O-line is like very good and peaceful because he started there. He got game reps. So him coming here and playing the game is like nothing new. So it's like it's easy to trust a guy like that. It's easy to working with a guy that you know, giving his all and attacking every day and trying to get better just like you are. So it makes me more comfortable having a guy like that. Do you look at Oklahoma State as just a bad day? Or what have you learned from that game? Um, you all played so much better these last two weeks. Um, yeah, I wasn't just, it was a bad game. Yeah. But I look at it as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. Like, what turned that tape on? We saw a lot of things that we didn't do well. Like, we saw a lot of things that we didn't execute, um, a lot of details that we ignored. It's not a clean game. So for us, it was like, do everything we can during the week to prepare better. Like, I feel like that week wasn't a great week of preparation. So it's like coming in the following weeks just been attack every day from Monday on down throughout the week. And like Coach Grimes always say, you earn the right to play well. So it's like if you don't practice well, how can you expect to play well? So it's like just coming in every day and trying to learn to get better. Like, I think that game was a great, a great learning experience for us. Um, I mean, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep better, hopefully. I know we just keep rolling and keep winning. Gary, obviously, y'all as a team have reached kind of one milestone in terms of just getting to that bowl eligible, knowing you'll have a postseason. What mm -hmm. motivates y'all as a team now? Um, we don't, to be honest with you, like if, in meetings and everything, everything is a one, one day mindset, one game mindset type deal. It's just like the excitement to be out there and play together. 
I think that kind of motivates us. We all push each other to get better. And we have fun doing it. Like you to watch us during the game, you see guys hugging each other, smiling. Like we're having fun doing what we do. So it's like just come out there and like you're gonna get be able to get this back in a couple of years. Like it's just being here in the moment, being where your feet are. So I think that gets us excited and just seeing each other do well and just want to push each other to do even better. Just gelling as an offense, gelling as a defense, like it feels good. It feels good coming in that team meeting that following week. Like we just we just came off a win. We didn't have any penalties, that kind of stuff. It just feels good. And it's like, that's our motivation. We're internally motivated. Jerry, uh, I think it starts with Coach Aranda, but are y'all pretty good about just keeping blinders on, kind of following up on that? Because, you know, the polls, the CFP rankings mm -hmm. come out. I mean, y'all are y'all pretty good about just staying? Oh, yeah, we don't, we're not really worried about any of that. I mean, it's good to know, yeah. but I think for everybody on this team, it's still, how can I get better? What, how can we be better as offense? How can we be better as a defense? Like, how can we be better as a team? And so I think just coming in every week, that's the guys, that's the mindset every single day. It's not about what the outside is saying. It's more about, are we coming in here giving our all every day? Like, when we get here, like, we have something to tap in the locker room. Like, I'm in. Like, this is the only, this is our only focus right now. And I think that's the mindset everybody has. So I think the coaches have that mindset. And we all just one day at a time, one play at a time, one game at a time. Gary, it was last weekend against BYU. But Obviously, you know, in practice to get comfortable with receivers and mm -hmm. guys you throw to, I'm sure you get plenty of reps. In oh, yeah, a lot of How reps. many reps did you get in with Dylan Doyle to feel comfortable <laughs> with him to throw him a pass in the end zone? I would say I was very, very, very excited for that play because every Thursday and Wednesday we get to work that play. Like, and we've been working it since basically fall camp, and it was like finally get the game rep and execute it. It felt really good. It felt really relieving. Like. I don't know. I could like words can you describe how excited I am. I was for him during that moment because it's like, man, we worked that play so much. Like we worked, came in, worked it every day, every week, and we would get it after practice because he really wanted to execute that play. And then just being able to get the fit, to get the run with him, and then get the uh, pass with him it was really good because we've been working that. So you almost hard. knew where to put it to him, just like any other tight end or wide receiver at that. Oh yeah, point. Dylan is an athlete. Dylan is a really good athlete. So it's like when they, when they first brought him over there to do that, I was like, wow, like he's actually very good at it, and it looks natural already. And he just continued to find ways to improve on doing. And I knew, like, once they called it, I was like, yeah, we're ready to execute this. We've been practicing for it, so it felt good. Who's the next linebacker that's going to score? <laughs> Man, we don't know. We will see. We shall see. We shall see. I don't know. Um, we shall see, though. Terrell did say he was a high school running back, so, yeah. I mean, I think he could do it. Tell Terrell on nobody's hands, though. I don't know if he's going <laughs> to catch that ball. He might can get one of the runs, but I don't know about catching it. <laughs> he might can do it, though. We'll see. Gary, obviously, uh, Tress and Abram are both really good running backs back there, but do you notice any like slight differences when one's in versus the other, like how they pick up blocks or how they release on routes? Um, I would say um, there's a difference in the talent back style, but they complement each other. Abram is a more downhill, run through you type guy, but he also is kind of shifty. Ebb is more of a shifty guy, get him on the edge, he's going to outrun you easily. Like, But he also would get in that game and run through you too. So it's just like, I don't know. It's, I think practicing with them, like, I'm very, very comfortable with both of them. I know both of them are going to get in and do As you can see, they both have multiple games pushing 100 yards rushing. So it's just like those guys prepare at a high level and they come out and play at a high level. So I think I'm just comfortable with both of them. That's really a two-head monster back there. Like, that's that's real. That's real. I trust those guys. So it's exciting to be back there with them because I know they get us going. Like, seeing the old line work and seeing those guys run through tackles, you like, the receivers, like, dang, they run hard. I want to block harder. The old line, like, dang, that run felt good. Like, because they, it starts with them. So they're like, it makes me want to work harder. So I enjoy that. Gary, with how many passing yards and touchdowns have you been able to accumulate this season without only that one interception? Where did you learn to kind of learn that balance of being aggressive while also being smart and taking care of the ball and all that stuff? I would say just preparation, um, a lot of film study. Just knowing where you're going to go with the ball, knowing um, when things are open, when, to, when not to force it. and. Just looking at it and just basically reading the defense and taking what they give you. For me, it's, um, I try to make the game as slow as I can for me. Um, I spend a lot of time watching film. It's like I try to pre-snap, I'm lining up, kind of got an idea of what they're doing right away. So it's like, uh, if this happens, I need to go here with the ball. If this happens, I might look here and then go here. It's those kind of things that just make the game slow for And it's like, once you can eliminate all that thinking and you can just go out there and play free, I mean, you're going to play good, you're going to play green. So I think that's what it is.